Atlanta, Georgia. It's the start of the evening rush hour, and traffic helicopters fill the sky. But today, there's more going on below than the usual fender benders. Uh, right the side road, right here, back it up. In this quiet neighborhood, a suspect takes flight from police. Oh my God, he's going the wrong way. He's going the wrong way. Oh man. It's evident right away that this chase is a bigger story than anything else on the road. Oh my God, he just ran a red light. He's going to kill somebody, man. This outlaw is so reckless, the concerned pilot tries to warn his listeners. You folks are on Camp Creek Parkway heading up towards Riverside. Please be careful. Then as quickly as it began, the pursuit seems to end. The suspect bails on foot, and the chopper loses sight of him in the trees. It turns out to be a trick. Thinking he's lost the helicopters, the fugitive hops back in his truck and starts moving again. He may have briefly thrown off the air units. But the ploy also gave police cruisers an opportunity to catch up. One, two, three, four. There are nine cops chasing this guy, and he has no prayer. They're going to corner him any minute. But the situation changes when the felon gets on the freeway. In thick rush hour traffic, it'll be hard for police to take him out, and easy for him to get into an accident. The chopper pilot does what he can to help people stay safe. Please look at your rear view mirror. If you ever get in this situation and you see a high speed chase in your rear view mirror, what you need to do is stay where you are. Do not change lanes. This is now a citywide event, and anyone on the road could be at risk. Oh my goodness gracious. Boy, that Coca Cola truck almost bought it. Hoping to regain the edge, the daredevil heads back onto surface streets. But the criminal has no intention of making things easy. And his driving skill is starting to impress the pilot. I hate to admit, this guy's a hell of a driver. But a fugitive this audacious can only have so many close calls. Before he finally gets too close, he ran through another red light. And this time, he took an innocent driver's bumper with him. But the car-to-car -car contact doesn't slow him down a bit. He continues on a treacherous tour of the entire town. He's at Turner Field. He's at Turner Field right now. And no neighborhood is safe. Here in the Ashby Road, I-20 area, be prepared. But his next move surprises everyone. He drives into busy Hartsfield Airport. Oh, this ought to be good. He's going into the airport. It's a move straight out of the movies. He knows the helicopters aren't cleared to fly over Hartsfield airspace. By the time they refocus their cameras, the suspect has disappeared. We've lost him for the moment. The outlaw could be anywhere. And if he were to somehow get on a plane, this pursuit could take on a whole new dimension. <laughs> Next, on world's most dangerous police chases. Here we go, here we go, he clipped them. More of the wildest, hairiest, scariest, most bizarre. They've got the person out of the vehicle. And unusual chases. Would you see that truck driver right there? ever seen on TV. For police officers in a high-speed pursuit, the only thing worse than a fugitive who won't stop is a fugitive they can't find at all. This careening criminal has been wreaking havoc for nearly half an hour. Oh, man, this guy... Boy, that Coca-Cola truck almost bought it. Thousands of motorists are in harm's way, knowing the outlaw could race by at any moment. By now, he's even lost the media by detouring into an airport. We've lost him for the moment. As the search goes on, Whoa! the entire city of Atlanta holds its breath. Just when it seems likely the suspect has ditched his truck and taken off into the terminals, here he is. He reappears. Amazingly, he navigated the airport traffic and shook all but one of the pursuing officers. Now this dangerous driver's back on the freeway with just one objective. Lose the remaining cruiser. He knows officers want him to get off the interstate, so he uses that fact to his advantage. The crook repeatedly tries to dupe them into thinking he's going to exit. After he's faked him out a few times, he goes for the double cross by getting off for real. But the police are on to his games. 
a black and white waits for him at the bottom of the exit ramp. I think he just made a fatal error right here. Maybe not. The man spotted the officer in just enough time to escape. I really thought they had him. But when they get him on an almost empty street, they see a perfect opportunity to take him out. suspect keeps rolling. It's a discouraging near miss for the officers and for the pilot. Here we go again. They had him. Oh, man, they had him. Worst of all, it seems to have made the suspect feel invincible. Oh, he's going the wrong way. Oh, lordy. He races fearlessly up a one-way street. Oh, oh, my gosh, he almost clobbered that guy. As terrified motorists stuck for cover, police search for another opportunity to pit the thief. Get him, get him, get him. Uh, oh, my goodness. A tactical ram would be too dangerous in opposing traffic, so officers set up roadblocks instead. They got him cornered because there's a cop up here ready to block this road here at Fulton Street. But the felon sees the other cruiser in plenty of time. Right through the parking lot. There's a Georgia State Patrol car he's going to try to corner. They got two of them up here. He dodges the officers, but his detour takes him right toward a dead end. They got him. They got him, Corey. Of course, that only means the road is ending. Oh, he's going to the grass. Oh, my goodness gracious. Maniacal moves like this only make the story bigger news. This is all over Metro Atlanta. Everybody in town knows about this chase. But some people who hear about the pursuit want to do more than just watch. And regular citizens pitch in to lend police a hand. Yo, you see a truck driver right there? He slowed down. Rattled by the forces mounting against them, the suspect swerves erratically. But it turns out this chase has damaged more than his nerves. Look at his right rear tire. He's got a flat. The earlier pit maneuver managed to puncture the truck's tire. Now, with the help of truck drivers, police set him up to finish the job. The truck drivers have literally come to a halt. Thanks, guys. Good job. He's got to get off the camp free. An impromptu roadblock funnels the suspect back off the freeway, where he's more vulnerable. Let's hear it for the truck drivers, man. On circus streets, police search for the opportunity to ram the truck. But the driver eludes him again and again. Oh, I think they've got him. I think they have him. Well, not quite. Oh, he somehow maneuvered around the Georgia State Patrolman. When the suspect turns into a parking lot to avoid traffic, police finally see their chance. But the suspect's unexpected turn puts an innocent driver in his path. Oh, he clipped the car. Again, the suspect shrugs off the hit, leaving the other driver stunned but unhurt. As the truck blazes onward, a stunned motorist has to back up to get out of his way. Backing up means getting crushed any day. But just as it looks like nothing short of a miracle will end this chase, this looks like Smokey and the Bandit. There must be 15 cops chasing this guy. Police get that miracle. Okay, hold on. It's over. The suspect is run out of gas. Okay, they got him. They got him. And as police take the destructive fugitive off the streets, the entire city can breathe a collective sigh of relief. Ironically, this marathon pursuit actually began as a case of mistaken identity. Police were looking for a burglary suspect when they spotted this guy. Who had just stolen this truck off a dealer's lot. Oh, oh, my gosh. Of course, by the time this chase ended, it filled up a laundry list of new charges. Misdemeanor hit and run, felony evading, to assault with a deadly weapon. And, of course, Grand Theft Auto. And an entire city watched as he went from low-rent car thief to the most wanted criminal in town. Next up, this chase was impossible. The vehicle was decrepit. The driver was paraplegic. Okay, they've got the person out of the vehicle. The collision was unbelievable. pursue an old rust bucket of a Chevy van. Got heavy traffic, heavy traffic here. Unbelievably, the driver is wanted for allegedly trying to run over his own mother only moments ago. 
through the gas station at Hyde Park, westbound, westbound at Hyde Park. He roars down the quiet streets, pushing his decrepit vehicle to the limit. Stop signs mean nothing to him. And there he goes. Okay, he's approaching Crenshaw. He's got a lot of cross traffic, a lot of cross traffic. He barely slows down for this city bus. He's on the wrong side of the street. Wrong side of the street there. Then the helicopter pilot learns some amazing news. They're telling me now that the police just found out that this driver is paraplegic, unable to move his legs, driving with hand controls only. Oh, there he goes. He's almost in that car right there. It was a blind corner, and he couldn't see the white car. Incredible driving for somebody who can't use his legs. He's soon back up to speed. Weaving his way through midday traffic. Looks as though he's going to go into the opposite direction, opposite direction of traffic. Back on the boulevard, he drives with a renewed vengeance, faster and bolder. He skates through one red light, and then another. But he won't be quite so lucky at the next one. Okay, he's got the bus at the intersection, bus at the intersection. He's crashing, he ain't into the bus. tries to steer away from the inevitable, but it's too late. The bus careens into two other vehicles as frightened onlookers flee for their lives. The van mows down a fire hydrant, which erupts in a massive urban geyser. <laughs> as the van rolls to a stop, a desperate mother tries to corral her terrified <laughs> It's a horrifying ending, but the surprises are far from over. <laughs> Got that person out. He's out of the vehicle. Looks as though at this point he's been oh, flying. Yeah. <laughs> the suspect drags himself toward the middle of the street. Okay, they've got him prone down now. They've got him prone down now. After inspecting the van, officers were able to see the incredible truth for themselves. The man they've been chasing actually is a paraplegic, unable to walk. Using only hand controls to accelerate and brake, this suspect was able to evade officers for 25 minutes. Maybe he couldn't walk, but he sure could run. But to the police and the eight injured passengers on the bus who had to be rushed to the hospital, the suspect is a common criminal, a neighborhood menace. When he gets booked for felony evasion and assault with a deadly weapon, he'll find out that the law is applied quite equally to the disabled and able-bodied alike. Truth is sometimes harsh. And the brutal truth here is, almost every one of these insane risks, every one of these dangerous chases, every one of these horrible accidents could have been avoided by the decision not to run. But the time to decide not to run is now, before it's too late.